Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today, Sila Kimuka Kesuka Ish Ikora Kora. Today we're doing our Sakila, Isakila seat. Um, this was a request. I got a lot of requests on this. I even got and received an email. So it's about time we do it. I got this one for 35 friends. They differ in size. There's a bigger one, a 65 friend one. This one I got at Lens. There's a shop called Shitolo Shaka Zangulu. So I got the size. Actually, in, when I got it, it was longer than this. So I asked my dad to cut it for me. So it's nice in this size because I'm we're going to use it as an accessory. It's, for this tutorial, it's going to be in three parts. The first two parts are going to be for the bottom part. And then the last part is going to be for the top part. The bottom part, I know we're going to do two different kinds of stitches. The first one is going to be the brick stitch. The second one will be the wrapping stitch. And then the third video is going to be the top where we'll be doing the head. So let's get started. Ikora, <laughs> Okay, so here's our Isakila. We're going to start from the bottom and then we move up. So the first thing you're going to have is your needle and your thread and then you're first going to tie a knot you're going to tie around the stick like this Make sure you move it nicely to the end. So this is my first knot. I'm going to do another knot. Make sure it's tight and stuck to your stick. Make sure it's nice and tight like this and then what you're going to do now at this point is you're going to wrap maybe twice one and then two like this then you take your needle you put it under everything under every thread you're just fastening it nicely like this so you just make sure that everything is nice and tight like this and then when you're confident about that you can also do this again and insert your needle here Again and pull mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's nice and tight so this I can cut off so now you're nice and tight you can start picking up your beads I cannot say how many number of beads you need. You just need enough beads that will make one row around. So the thickness of your stick will also play a factor and even the sizes of beads that you are using will also play a factor. So here we are. I'm using plastic beads which are 2 millimeter sized beads. So I'm wrapping on top of the thread 
like this so it's to a point when i do so the the number of beads are equal they complete an entire circle like this so i'm just going to hold it and then i insert my needle into maybe the first three beads then i pull oops sorry And as you can see, when I pull tighter, it's com it's nice and complete. So I have to make sure that I pull nicely. So I also have to feel it good. It's nice and tight. So now. let's start so now I'm going to start building on top of this row so what I'm going to do I am going to pick up beads so now you're going to pick up two beads so you're going to let me do this for the yes you're going to capitalize for <laughs> on the spaces that are in between the beads. Those are the spaces that you're going to be using. But now, because you are starting a new line, you're going to pick up two beads. So, you see, Wuti, the thread is in between these two beads. I'm going to move from my left to the right. If you move from your right to your left, that's okay. So, I'm going to put my needle under this white thread and if i'm going to put it in a way that when i pull my thread like this when i pull my thread the thread has to be in between these the space between these two beads okay so now it's a bit it's going its own direction so now I have to make sure that, so these beads should, the thread should overlap like this, and then the beads should come like this. So let me fix the lighting there, there we go. And I'm going to pull. The reason why my thumb is like this is to make sure the thread comes in between Like this, it's not showing nicely. Yes, so the thread is in between these two beads. Nearborn, because I, I inserted my needle under the beginning <laughs> wrapping threads, so now I insert my needle into this bead the one on top the first two lines for this pattern are going to be a bit untidy because you're still figuring out so it's going to be like this and then i pick up a bead again pick up a bead again and I do exactly what I did. This is my one bead. So now you're only going to pick up your bead. Two beads when you're starting a new line. So I insert my needle under the thread lay that we wrapped many times under it. Can you see? Yeah, Vela here on top. So I insert my needle and then I pull. And then I pull. Then I pull, I pull, I pull. Then I make sure that when I pull, I need to, this bead has to be on top like this. Has to be on, on top of this line. I have to make sure that the thread is in between 
these two beads so let me pull here then it directs the bead nicely oopsie you direct your bead nicely and then make sure that when you pull your thread it has to go in between those two beads like this then you pull then you insert under this bead that you just inserted insert your needle and then you pull you see you do it again you pick up a bead you do this all the way around you take your needle you insert it under the thread like this you need to have any thread that's peeping out so your needle has to be under that thread you insert it like this and then you pull your needle So now, just gonna direct my bead. My bead has to be up. Make sure that when your thread has to land in between the beads, and your bead has to be up in it, like that. Kaka. Then you're not done. You insert your needle at the bottom of the bead that you just introduced, and then you pull. You keep doing that all throughout, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, way, way. <laughs> Pick up one bead, you take your needle, you insert it under the thread, the thread that we wrapped in, in at the beginning. And then you pull your needle. You keep pulling, you keep pulling. Don't worry when it drifts off like this. You can always redirect your thread to come back. Come back home. Remind the people to know you have to be on top of this row. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it comes this side. It's going to be like this. Then you take your needle, you insert it under the bead, and then you pull. So you keep doing this all around, all around, until you come to this point. And then we go out we're going to come back and then we're going to start a new line so here we are i've pushed throughout all the way until here so now we're only left with one spot like a spot for one more bead so i pick up my one bead and i insert my needle under like how we have been doing then i pull so tight sure. then i pull i make sure that the thread is in between these two beads like this then i insert my needle under the bead and then i pull So now, I'm going to take my needle and insert it on top of the next door neighbor. If you look, there's this stitch that's happening on top. And it, 
we also have to make this bridge on top of the two needles so I set my needle and push it down like this and then I go back under the next door neighbor like this and then I pull I pull like this like this so we're starting a new line you can change your color if you like mm, if I had to change a color I would change to yellow so let me pick up two yellow beads two yellow beads and now as you can see on top of each in between two beads there's this bridge like this there's this bridge in between the, the two beads on top of them so now you're going to pick up two beads and then you're going to insert your needle in between the bridge of the two beads like this and then every time when you start a new line you start with two beads like this and then you insert your needle the one under that one bead and then you pull you pull you pull you pull like this and then you're you move back to picking up one bead instead of two beads you only pick up two beads when you are starting a new line so now you're back to picking up one bead what do you do you insert your needle under that the next door bridge under it like this and then you pull and then insert your needle under the bead and then you pull the brick stitch takes a longer time compared to the the wrapping stitch because here you're stitching one bead at a time one bead at a time I'm sorry you do it again like this so to needle then you pull like this and then insert your needle like this remember to tighten your thread the knees are tighten teen tightens ding 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 let's go <laughs> Ding, tie, dance. Let's go. So you keep doing this all the way until you finish this. Like this. You do this all the way. All the way. Set your needle under and then you pull. So you keep doing this all the way until you get back to this point and then we come back, we start a new line and then we're done with the stitch. So you keep, keep stitching, keep stitching until you get to this point. So now we're going to finish off this line with my one bead. Set it like this. Then I pull my needle. 
and then I insert my needle from the bottom up and then I pull so what do I do I take my needle and I insert it from the top moving down into the next door neighbors I pull nicely and then I insert my needle from the bottom up like this and then I pull there we go so now I'm going to start a new line when you start a new line you pick up two beads every time when you start a new line you pick up two beads here are my two beads i'm going to go back to the blue those two beads you insert them into the loop and then you pull the loop right next door and then you take your needle and you insert it from the bottom up and then you pull and then you started your new line now you're going to continue so when you continue you keep adding using one bead i poked myself you pick up one bead you insert it into the next door neighbor's bridge should i call it a loop or a bridge insert it and you pull like this then you take your needle you insert it from the bottom up like this so you're going to continue this is how you're going to move throughout all the way until you get to the top good luck guys <laughs> all the best i wish you nothing but luck when it comes to this this stitch you need to put your time on the side and just do it it needs a lot of patience so yeah this is where we're going to stop we've done the basics on the next video we'll be doing the wrapping stitch so this is where we're going to stop for today thank you so much for watching i love you guys so so much remember to love yourself to respect yourself to honor yourself and have fun if you love the content that you're seeing please consider subscribing bye